All right, so let's say you're shopping for an optic. You know, there's a gang of optics companies out there, and uh, and when you look at Night Force, you think, you know, why why would I buy Night Force? For me, there's three reasons. Um, one is image and just overall quality of the product. Um, number two is durability, and number three is tracking. Um, when it comes to quality, you know, a lot of the design and manufacturing work that Night Force does is done right here in the U.S. Um, if there are components or optics that are made overseas and brought to the U.S., everything gets touched, and I swear, like triple checked here at the States. And, uh, and that's a bit unusual, um, but Night Force is very aggressive about quality control. And um, so to me, that's a very comforting thing before I, I spend my money. Um, the number two reason, of course, is durability. You know, everybody's seen that real iconic uh, it video of, of the guy checking the Night Force scope and beating it on the rubber block. You know, it's one of my personal favorites. Uh, the way Night Force gets there is they're one of the few optics companies that will bed lenses, not just objective lenses, but also like, you know, the lens that's carrying the reticle. And what that means is bedding is epoxy. So when that lens gets put in the housing, the housing gets put in the scope, they come in, hit it with epoxy. That means that that lens is never gonna move. And if you run the risk of your rifle falling over, which they do all the time, um, number one cause and point of impact shift is lens movement. So Night Force, you know, they bed all those lenses in there and, um, and it makes it a pain in the neck to work on. But most important for me as a consumer is if my rifle takes a dump, I got to know that, that the lenses didn't shift and I've, I've still got my rifle zeroed. So durability is a big thing and that's probably one of the prime considerations for buying a Night Force. Uh, and then of course finally is tracking. You know, when you grab this elevation turret and give it a spin, like one click, you're moving the erector assembly inside this scope like a thousandth of an inch. And it's got to move one thousandth of an inch every single time. So the way Night Force does that, you know, when they're making these turrets, they'll come in and they'll make multiple passes and they'll just shave a little sliver of brass off at a time. And the reason why is if you try to hog a whole bunch of material off at once, you know, metal moves, and so now you've got a sloppy fit. So they'll put a turret in the machine and just zip, zip, zip over and over again. And then they'll take the two components, they'll marry them up, and then they go in and they put a, a power drill on one component and they burnish them by hand. And what happens is when that process is complete, those two components have complete and total contact. They're married, they're never gonna change. So, you know, you take the scope out and run a tracking test, it's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. Um, but 10 years from now, when you run that same tracking test, you'll get the same result. You can't, you can't wear out these turrets because of how they make them. So, you know, those are my big reasons why I think Night Force is always a contender when you're looking for optics. They're not always the, the least expensive uh, or the lightest, but you, it's fantastic quality, supremely durable, and, and they track every single time. So uh, I'd like to thank Night Force for sponsoring this video. And uh, if you'd like to know more about Night Force or any of their products, you can go to www.nightforceoptics.com.